All right, what's good, gang? It's a lovely day out here, man. Another lovely day. I got some content for y'all. I gotta go get a part, a door for the Monte Carlo, man. Um, I don't know if y'all watched the video before, but the door is bad. I finally got this hood home. Yeah, so the hood really ain't that bad, man. If you know anybody looking for a hood, I may be selling it. I really don't know yet if I'm gonna sell it or not, but they go the hood right there. It's in good shape. I mean, you got these spots, but that's just all surface, man. My boy Brandon, who I'm going to get the door from, he told me these hoods really don't rust out. I think he said sometimes on one of these areas right like that, but other than that, man, it's a cool situation. So, you know, I'm going to probably be letting that I don't know, I might let it sit. We're gonna get on over here though to my homeboy's house real quick. He got the hood for me. Matter of fact, speaking of Brandon, Brandon the one that got the hood. He the one that gave me the other part for that rust part at the bottom. I don't even know what that section is called, but trying to just maintain, man, trying to hurry up and get the Cherokee up out of here. Matt said he was coming to get it. Um, I'm afraid to drive it. Cause I don't want to mess nothing up on it or whatever. Y'all seen I got it towed home. So soon as he come get that, we'll be back in that. We'll be back doing, making um, videos with that as well. Um, I got some box openings coming up for the Monte Carlo. I'm, um, I didn't order the parts yet. I'm going to order them probably tonight. I was going to wait till next week to order them. But then I'm going to go ahead and order them tonight, man. And maybe we'll get that coming in. My son's little car over there chilling. So uh, let's get over here. Get to Brandon's house before it get too late. I don't want to hold him up because I'm pretty sure he got some stuff he needs to do. I think he was going to buy like an air compressor today because he was selling a tire machine. So he pulled his Monte Carlo SS out too. So we're going to get a look at that as well. He got a YouTube channel. When we get over here, I'm going to ask him what his YouTube channel is because I'm trying to get him to start doing videos of his Monte Carlo SS too. He then did a lot of the body work to it himself. He's going to take it to his homeboy and let him paint it. But let's get over here to Brandon's house. Check out uh, his car. Check out these doors. He got a hell of a lot of Monte Carlo parts. So if y'all looking for Monte Carlo parts, man, uh, hit me up. I'll link y'all with him. Me and him work together, so I'll be able to hook y'all up with him, get y'all his information or whatnot, and um, go from there. See y'all in the next clip. Oh, you done already pulled it, pushed it out. Yeah. Oh, yeah. This my ready, ready. What you gotta watch me on there? <laughs> Damn. You so you took this all the way down yeah. to metal yourself. Yep. Oh yeah, he clean. See you know what I'm saying? Those are ten inch wide on the back. Yeah. Yep. And you ain't have to do nothing there. Uh uh. And this tire about is tall. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm saying. I think what it is is they do it so to so to stick in and tuck under the lip. Other than that, you can get them on there. Yeah. This is an 80, what you say it is? 86. An 80, 80, oh, it's the same year. Yeah, man. Oh, yeah, you put that uh, council in there already. Yeah, I got to do a little bit of trimming to, uh, because that cigarette, the ashtray underneath the dash is making it so it won't push in all the way. Oh, oh yep, I see it. Yep. So you're gonna keep that ashtray, just trim the uh plastic console. down. Yeah. Damn that fit right in there. How you find out about that? YouTube. <laughs> YouTube is crazy. Yeah, you ready. I got new fenders and stuff for it, so. Yeah. Oh you got the three inch. They actually got that off marketplace. Twenty bucks. Yeah. yeah. It broke on the side. I got some pieces. Oh you can fix that though. Yeah, yeah. It's fiberglass. Yeah, that can be fixed. Dang. What was you doing? Chilling? Yeah, the garage getting ready. They're coming to pick up that tower machine. Where, where, is it? where you got it? Oh, that's your uh, big block in there? Yeah. Oh, that tower machine is nice. That too. Can't fit them both in here. Nah, you can't even better get. Dang, this the one you only want. Well, never mind, but yeah. 
There's that door I'm telling you about. It seemed like it's worth more than that. I finally got that damn, what you call it, out the back of my The chair. hood? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Because, see, that was ate up all, I don't know if it's this part. It's probably this part down here. Yeah, because it was so low, I couldn't see. But, no, that's mm -hmm. perfect. This is perfect. This is in good shape. It's an electric door, too, so. I can hook right up for my yeah, windows yeah. and stuff. I might have to do a little bit of splicing because I don't know what they did, but it's all electric. I'm gonna have your boy do it. The body man. I'm gonna have the body man do all that and get it together. Dang. You got parts to go. Well, is this this the one for your. Over here? Yeah. Oh, that's cool too. That can be fixed. Yeah. Not bad, bad. Not ain't bad. I'm telling you, mine is terrible. I want to say mine is right here. Where it's, okay. Because I was able to kind of stick my hand under, and this kind of looks small to me, but maybe that is where it was at. I can't remember. But that can be work. That's better than mine. I got bumpers and shit up there. <laughs> Man, you got all kind of shit. So this the one, is this the one you working on for the... Uh, yep, that's the one I'm tear down. It's big, too. Yeah, it's heavy. That's yeah, gonna weigh that. It's gonna weigh the front end of that down. You said it's a 454 out of a truck motor. Yep. It's a Gen Six. So it's a roller motor. So everything for it. Everything. Yeah. You just putting the cam and some headers on it. I'm doing heads too. Heads. Are oh, you gonna you gonna still gonna do the heads? Yeah. Yeah. That's cool. Some Mine's heads. Well wide out. Huh? I said mine's well wide out. Yeah, yeah. Whatever you gonna do to it, that's what they say. Do it while it's out, paint it, all that. Mm -hmm. Got the engine uh stand right there. You can go ahead and throw it up. I just ordered the right parts for it, the right screws and everything. My um, what you call it? It's like that. The toolbox. Yep. That's one I just got. Clean it out, throwing all the old shit away. Yep, it's just like that. So now you got not you got two of them now, mm -hmm. so you can go ahead and go to work. Damn, yeah, you got a nice garage. Thank you. you can really do something in here, like as far as working on cars, you got your engine hoist. Yeah, that's one I just bought. Motorcycle jack. <laughs> you can get it in. Yeah, when you get ready, I'll come over and help you do something, learn some shit and shit like that. Yeah, we'll get it bring in. Bring your car over. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to. Um, dang. Throw this mug in here. What training is that? That's a 350 turbo. Oh, okay. Look, these is clean, too. Yeah, them is clean right there. You putting that uh, behind your... um? No, no, I actually got a 400 that I had rebuilt. Oh. This came out the old 350. Uh-huh. It's just laying around. Oh, it's, it's a spare. You gonna keep it or sell it? <laughs> <laughs> Got the plate to block it. Oh, for the, yeah, for the AC yeah. delete and everything. You gonna, and you gonna go with vintage air on here, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah now nah, it's clean under there. Oh, that's a that's a plus on these. The battery tree. Mine was rusted out. The can't force support is nice. A clean one, already out. Oh yeah, I got one. I, he that might be where he got it from. He might have got it from uh from Canton Auto Salvage. I, said, I got extra front clips and everything for this. Yeah. Yeah, it's gonna be ready. That blue gonna look good on there. Yeah, I think in blue because if I had the red interior, it'd look nice too. Yeah, then we seen the one. Yeah, the blue and red one. I think he had twenty fours on it too. I think so. I think he did. All right, we're gonna go look at this house real quick. <laughs> it ain't bad. 
How many bedrooms is it? Three. <laughs> oh, yeah, it is. It's not dated, but it's, it is a nice house. Oh, that's nice. When did it go back? When you see it go back up? Because that was a couple uh, of days, huh? Two days ago, yeah. Yeah. That price ain't bad either. That price ain't bad at all. Look, we'll be neighbors. <laughs> Monte Carlo riding. I'm gonna ride just like this. You ain't gonna, uh, you gonna primary though, ain't you? Depends. You, you ain't scared that it's gonna, um. Rust? Yeah. I would be scared it would, it would rust back up. Yeah, I'll be surface rust, it, like all that sandable, and you get the acid stuff. Too. Right there. Yeah, Thumbnail. He clean though, y'all. He needs some work, but thing about it is, when you're doing your own work. It don't matter how much work your car needs, you feel me? I mean, he done did a lot of work to it, too. He just was showing me. Uh, he shaved the door where you uh, open, the, open the door with the key. He shaved that off. He said he took these doors off of, unless he didn't did all the body work, all of this himself. Which is crazy, because I don't know shit about body work. <laughs> so this is what cleans the metal. Basically, it brings out all the colors, because that's clean metal right there. Uh-huh. And wipe it on. Then, before you do the body work, you want to sand it back off. Because it will actually peel with this stuff on. Ah. Uh. I just found out. I'm asking the paint right Good body work. You shaving this one off too? You gonna cover that one? What's you, gonna, that? you gonna leave this one? No, I'm cut, the I'm door. get rid of it. All right. It's ready though, man. I mean, the interior, the inside. I mean, not the interior. The inside is cool. I uh, see so you cut the one uh, yeah, part of the floor out right there because up there. But they gave me the wrong floor pan. It was supposed to go back more. I'm surprised that even because look at the rest of the floor. Mm -hmm. Just that it was just one spot, huh? Yep. That's crazy. Usually when they go, they go. And I gotta figure this out because this is what I was telling you, it's loose. Oh, that's a, yeah, that's a GM de defect. So you need another. It's, I think it's like a pin or something in these that come, that break or something like that. Uh, but you know, you can get another column for these for the, damn, I had one too. I, I gave it to the dude that came and bought my seats and I had a center console that I sold. I'll keep my eye open for that too. Okay. See if you can find another console. But for some reason, it seemed like I remember him saying that you could fix them. Every Monte Carlo I had besides my LS and my white SS did that. Okay. Yep, yep. It's a, it's a GM thing with the tilt steering wheel for some reason. See, my other one... I don't know if it's because the older it didn't have tilt. Did it had tilt? No, it, this one it had a. It just stayed in one position. It didn't have this lever. Right. So I don't know. Did they change it or what? I think they all have tilt. Yeah, yeah. Somebody might have changed the uh, steering column on them. I think that was like an 80s G1. Mm -hmm. You know what, though? Actually, my, no, my 79 uh, Regal didn't have had tilt. tilt either. Yeah, my Malibu, my 78 Malibu didn't have tilt. Yeah. All right, y'all, check this out, man. This is a, it like is what's that stuff called? That rough? I can't even think of what it's called to go up under the truck. But this is crazy. You got they got six wheels on it. I'm gonna see if I can get a good uh, a good shot of it on the side of it when they stop at another light. Though that's crazy. Though I just happened to see this right down the street. After picking up my door from my homeboy Brandon. Brandon on the lookout for your boy. You already know what it is, man. But uh Monte Carlo game. But yeah, look at that. Rough, I think it's called something. I can't remember what it's called, man. Hey, that 
that mug is hard. It's a six by six. Wait till I get on the side of it though, so y'all can see the side of this joint. Like it's definitely a raw truck. Definitely. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a Jeep or what. Some of y'all might already know. Like y'all looking at it or whatever. That mug is raw. That's crazy. That blue hitting though, ain't it? That blue hitting on there. Oh, uh, yeah. Let's see if we can get a close up though. That's that, that's a Jeep. Gotta hear the door back there rattling. That's a Jeep though. I can't really, I can't really get it like I can. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to follow them and see if they're gonna stop down here at the car lot. That mug is hard. All right, what's good, gang? So I got the door in the back seat. I didn't want to put it in the back of the truck because I didn't want to slide it around. So we're going to um, take the door home in a little bit, man. Put it up. I appreciate Brandon for hooking me up with the door, man. That was definitely, definitely good looking out, man. We're going to see what we can do, what we got going on. Plus, I got to look at my other door and see how that's looking, too, because I never looked at the other door. I barely discovered the driver's side door, you know what I mean? So... It is what it is, man. We got a lot of great content coming up as soon as we get this car back. Uh, he also said if Matt don't get to the Grand Cherokee, I can bring it over there to his house and we can work on it over there. So we might be ended up doing that with Brandon as well. Man, I'm going to give Matt a couple more days and see if he contact me about coming to get it. Um, but uh, if you made it this far in the video, man, make sure you hit that like, share, and subscribe, man, and click that notification bell, man, so y'all can get notified when I drop new content. I'm going to keep this vlog going, though. Y'all already know how I do. I do vlog as well. I'm trying to add the car content back into the vlogs, man, because I know a lot of y'all was actually tuned in and, and subscribed for the car content. So every video that I drop from now on is going to definitely have car content in it, and I'm going to mix the uh, family vlogs and just my regular vlogs and everything within that same video man so uh with that being said man um stay tuned man all right back at the house trying to get the door out of the back of the truck man i this door is heavy as hell man i can't get it for nothing this door is heavy as hell y'all gang i'm gonna try to get it in the garage though Give me a minute to get this in the garage and I'll be right back on with y'all here in a second. But you know, I work, y'all know I work out. I definitely work out, but uh, I ain't doing no justice for me right now. All right, so I forgot I had this dolly in my garage from when I was doing my clean outs. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to turn the door around and put it on that and I'm gonna pull it in the garage. All right, so I got that in there, man. Shout out to Brandon for the for the door, y'all. Shout out to Brandon for the door. I can't wait till this car is done, man. It's definitely gonna be dope. A dope build, it's gonna be fire. I'm already looking at what rims I want. Uh, checking out suspension, UMI, something like that, QA1. As well as uh, I'm contemplating what I'm gonna do about the rear end and stuff. So it's definitely gonna be a, a nice build for sure. All right, so we're gonna, yeah, I'm gonna stop by the paint shop, McMillan's. I, I did say that I wasn't. I mean, he do a good job at painting though. Don't get me wrong, cause he painted the hell out of that. Um, charger I got painted there, but I'm just gonna buy there and highlight it. He probably gonna need pictures before he can say he can or can't do it, but I might be able to describe to him where the rust is at on the door. Enough. They didn't did enough G bodies down there. He should know what that is. So we're gonna go down there real quick. I need to go get something to wear for tomorrow too. What was going on tomorrow? Uh my sister's dad's funeral. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so I don't wanna You from up here? 
Yeah, yeah. Like, I remember you had that regal, because I remember I was listening back to the video that we did when you was in the back seat recording. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know you had said that. I had kept talking. I didn't even know you said you wanted to find a regal. Um, I forgot you had that regal, though. Which one are you talking about that I had, too? All right, the one I'm talking about you had when I came home. Or be, dang, I was in a halfway house. Was that the brown one? That was probably the brown one. Yeah, it was in the P. You had yeah. both of them in the P, though, didn't you? Uh-uh. All right, this one was when you was in the P. The other one I had was the uh, that canary yellow one with the brown uh, I seen the canary red yellow top. one with the brown red top. I seen that one. That mug right there was clean. Where was you staying at when you had that, though? at my mom's house when she still when yeah. she still was on second. That, that, that's where I seen it at when you was at your mom. Yeah, because I had it parked there in the front. What was wrong with it though? Did it need like Just a battery the, uh, or something? Uh, when the battery it needed uh it needed oh, some exhaust it needed good. some uh it needed some exhaust work and then it needed a uh, uh the damn starter was about to go out. Oh, so it rang. Yeah. I had, uh, shit, I had all the damn, damn parts in the damn trunk. Actually, I'm like, ran. It was something wrong with the, um, it was something wrong with the, um, like it wouldn't pick up speed and like once it get to a certain like a certain speed it would it was missing all right so we're about to go up in the paint shop mick miller's real quick i had him paint my dodge charger once before i want to ask him some questions about the door he should not even though i ain't got the door in no pictures he should be able to see or know what i'm saying if he showed me the door i can tell him as well as i want to see like what is open this is looking like because if Matt get done with this car soon I may drop it off and let him spray it we'll see what's going on all right Trav guys Trav got scared to record in there oh you come here to turn the camera room guy but he has some heat in there which, when we come back once we bring the car back we'll be definitely getting um some footage of the other cars um so hold on hold on hold this Thank you. So yeah, um, I'm gonna walk. So yeah, I'm gonna um, bring it back to him. He gave me his car. He said he can save that door though. So I'm gonna see. The thing about it is, cause I like the way that the doors. I mean, it shut shut. So we're gonna see. He he showed me some pieces that they can buy for those that you can get for those that make it work or whatever. He gonna just weld them in there. So look like we're gonna be back down here at McMillan. He was talking about some of them other colors with them flakes in there. I don't want no flakes though. It's just I want my car back the original color. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? That maroon with that reddish orange stripe back yeah. on it. Yeah. That's how I want to go. So we got that out the way. Paint shop. Oh, in fact, pan over there. You in the area, man? McMillan and son. He been painting for a long time. Now he he might take some time on your car, but when you get it back, it'll be done right. I don't know my. Every time I done came here and everybody I know. Remember Vic's uh, Grand Prix with the flag on the front? Remember it had the checkered yeah, the, flag? Uh, the white, pearl white with the checkered flag mm -hmm. on it? Yeah. He painted that. Oh, okay. Yeah, he paint. He paint, so you know. We we'll back down here, man. But y'all already know what it is, man. Stay tuned, man. Car content. See y'all in the next clip. Being bashful, you don't want to eat in the court, in the food court. We even got the cameraman together. You know, it's his first day. Was today your first day? Well, it wasn't his first day, but style and representing the company and shit. You know what I'm saying? If you could have any car, old school, new car, truck, whatever, what which car would you want to have? Like, if you could just pick just one car, like, all right, this is the one car I can get. Like, even right now, I mean, you know, it could change later, but right now, what car would you take? Oh, Which one though?
thinking? Probably old, uh, old, uh, old Camaro. Oh, Camaro, like a 70, like a, hold on, like this, 69 or like 70, early 70s, late 70s Camaro, like. Yeah, like late 70s, early 80s. Oh, okay, okay. Them is hard. Like, kind of like the body shape of Maul's Firebird. Yeah. yeah. All right. If I could have yeah, any. Too, actually, like the, um, what was that you had? The blue one with the T-top. Oh, the Z28. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that was that, but that was like an '89 or something, '90 something, with the T tops in it. Yeah, blue with the. I bought that from Chill. Yeah. Yeah, with the T tops in it. If I could get any car that I want right now, I would have to pick a Lamborghini Urus. You know what? You know what the Lamborghini Urus is? It's the truck. The Lamborghini truck. I've probably seen it. Oh, they hard. I'm showing CJ's joint. I see CJ on 32's. Yours, he got that wrap. Yeah, I'll take one of them in a heartbeat. And it got the crazy motor. It's gonna sound dumb. I like small trucks now. Yeah, I know it's that. I was like, I take that up. got this hood. Yeah, man. It got a Hemi in it. You talking about the Cherokee? Oh, it got a Hemi in it? Yeah. Yeah, I heard the um, motor guy. Yeah. On the, on the, video in the background yeah that mark sound good got the v8 in there so i get up when i needed to on the highway i mean you know it ain't like i'm about to i mean i can put some money into it and make it a lot faster you know what i mean i ain't about to you know that was tricky it almost looked like i wasn't gonna make it uh, I was scared, I ain't gonna lie. Let's go get the truck washed. All right, you can stop recording. I you wanna get in the wash, guy. Okay? I think I'm gonna take it through the little thing. All right, some fucking porn star on OnlyFans. <laughs> Is all the money left behind? Yeah, man. You got the light. Let the wind dry the truck up. <laughs> but one is too cold for me to get out and wipe it off. But for two, I really just don't even feel like it. I'm ready to get another pickup. But I gotta do one thing at a time. I gotta get this damn Monte Carlo SS done first. Like, I, some people do like more than one project at a time, but then I bought that Cherokee and some stuff I wanted to do that too, so we just gonna stay in our lane and do what we can afford. You know, we ain't trying to keep up with the Joneses, literally. Jones, Jones, Jones. <laughs> Trying to keep up with the Joneses. <laughs> That's an old ass saying, keeping up with the Joneses.